<sighs> that wasn't a dream. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Green Hell Part 7. What's that noise? Oh. It's a <sighs> big. Okay. Well, we are apparently exhausted, and I don't know why. So let's get some stamina back. I don't know what to do. In the last video, we got to an airstrip. We got to an airstrip, and I don't know. Well, it's going to be 1 o'clock. Well, shit. We had an airship, and I don't know actually what to do at all. Do we have water? We do have some water. I think we dropped our coconuts out here. Yeah, we got an airship. There is a door right here with a lock on it that has required a key. Now, I don't know what that necessarily means for me. Like, I don't know where the key is, so it's gonna... I just don't, I just don't know. Well, I don't get attacked by Puma. Alright, let's wander around a little bit. I'm not even on map. It's not even on map. This location. Let's wander around a little bit this area, I guess, and figure this out. Let's not forget that our camp is 2822. That scared me. Not gonna lie. Looks like a road over here. Like a path over here, so let's follow it. Hopefully I don't get, like, attacked by any... Cats. I said that. I'm going to get attacked by a cat. I'll just stay on the road. I'll just stay on the road. We'll be fine. Can I talk to Mia? Nah. Mia just doesn't want to hear from me right now. Why do I have to call her? Why can't she call me? All right? Oh. Uh, um, do I have to uh. climb? Oh, no. That's the end of a map. Wow. Crap. So I think this is going to be me wandering around for just like hours until I find or figure out where I have to go. What was that noise? Sounded like a cat. Or is that a pig? That's a pig. That's a pig. It's okay, guys. It's okay. It's just a. It's just a pig. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Uh, th there's a path right here. I guess let's go down it. I, again, I don't. I don't. I don't know what to do. I think I'm still on the right. Going the right direction. What's this over here? Man, I think there's just a cliff. Yeah. Just a cliff. There has to be... There's no key in the... In the camp for the building I stayed in. I find that weird. I'm pretty sure there's still a path. And... There is a thing right here. Find a way to get down to... You know, can I not tell her about this? Like... Okay. So now we have to look around even more and hopefully find something that I don't even... I know I'm looking for a key, but do you know how big a key, a key is? I'm in the jungle. I'm so lost. Let's walk this direction. It's a pig. It's a pig. Okay, this looks like a little path. Looks like there can be something here, at least, right? 
We are back at the base. I don't know what to do. So what we're going to do is pull out our handy dandy notebook and is there anything that Okay. So it's an airport. We're saved. All I have to do is get the radio up and running and call for help. There's so much equipment here that it should be oh, shouldn't be a problem. Okay. So what we will what we're gonna do is go look at the radio and I guess try to figure it out. Is there like a wait wait? There's a key right there. Okay, well, the radio's not working. Can we just... I, I, I want to hit it, but I don't think that that's going to help. All right, that's connected to the light. The wires. That's also collected to the radio. Why is that radio... Is that like a battery pack, I'm assuming? Ooh, yellow cord. Head out the door. Heads under there. Okay. Let's follow this yellow cord. Let's see if this leads anywhere. Hey, coconut. All right. That should do it. Are you freaking kidding me? That that was it. That's all I had to. Did this radio? If this radio works, I am not going to be happy. Hello, can anyone hear me? I need help. Anyone, come in, please. I need help. Anyone, come in, please. Hell! Copy. This is Manaus Control Tower. Over. <laughs> you can hear me. Oh, hey. You can really hear me? I need help. Affirmative. Keep calm now. I can hear you. You're going to be all right. Please give us your name and position. Over. This is Jake Higgins. I'm on a makeshift airstrip in the middle of the jungle. I'm not sure where exactly. Copy it. That Jake Higgins? Again? Okay. I know where you are. Please hold. Over. Okay. Are you alone? Over. There's a girl with me. Mia. Copy. Is there a man with you? Over. Uh... No. There's nobody else here. Are you still there? Uh oh. What I probably I should have said yes. Copy. Just stay where you are. Over. W will someone fly over? How long shall I wait? Keep calm and stay put. Help is on the way. Over and out. Hey, what? What do you mean by again? Am I in some that's sort a, of That's what I, I was mean, thinking. Like, why would you say it again? On? Answer, please. I beg you. Please, please answer me. I don't know what's going on. Fuck. 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 What was that? My key fell, though. Oh, and now I can grab it. You mean I could just pick that key up? Mia, you're not going to believe this. I found an airstrip, and the radio is working. Help is on the way. <laughs> At last. That was a strange conversation, though. They asked me if there was a man here. Any idea what all that was about? I'm just glad you're safe now. Right. And since I know how to get out of here, now I need to find you. Just come home. What? What are you talking about? Home and don't worry about me. Oh my gosh. Only thing I 
thing you will find here is disappointment. You don't need me anymore, Jake. It's time for me to go. What? Stay where you are and wait for help. No, no, Mia, talk to me. Where are you? What is it? Mia, please say something. I can't just abandon you. Mia, say something. Please. Mia, come on. What's happening? It's time to go. I found a way out. Please. God damn it, say something. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait at the airstrip for help? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Fuck, I don't know. I don't understand a thing. I called for help and Mia just... Fuck, I'm supposed to go back without her? What happened? I'm not going to just leave her here. Where is she? Find a way to get down the... No, find Mia. Wait at the airstrip for help. Mia, come in, please. Mia, come in, please. <laughs> God damn it, don't leave me. Please come in. <laughs> I don't want to keep... I'm using up the battery. Let's wait a little bit. Mia. Yeah. Don't want to sound too desperate. I will keep looking for you anyway. Okay. I ended with that. That's kind of creepy now. Alright. What is that? Climb, climbing equipment? That's probably how to get down. Some scuba gear right here. What? Is all this a map finally? Oh, a map? Yes, all right. We got a note seat passenger A1 Higgins J, A2 Vega A. What does that mean? What does that mean? Alvarez, report number eight. I've spotted a fire northwest from the Delta camp. So far, I've determined that there are around six people on the island. At least one is a child. So I'm guessing these are refugees from the city. I watched them all day. It looks like they're unaware. There's uh, some tribes people out here. Alright, let's go to the climbing location. How many tribesmen are out here? Sounds like they were over here. I probably. Oh. Like just one. You got something. <laughs> you got something sticking out of your forehead there. Okay, let's head down to that. Let's head to that thing and go down there. So an hour of wandering around. I was. It was right in front of me the whole time. And the sad thing is, I knew some. It was going to be right in front of me. Like there was no. I looked around the after looking around the whole island, that whole area. 
wall to wall. There was no... I, I knew it had to be directly in front of me somewhere. But then I should have just read the notes. Ooh. This reminds me of the forest. I don't like it. Diving equipment. Help is on the way. Come in. Please. All right, before Mia. we dive. Mia, come in, please. I can just keep doing this. Okay. Alright, uh, I probably can't see well down while I'm down here. Oh, actually, I can see pretty well. Wow. A lot better than I thought. Let's follow this cord. Oh, I can't see the cord. Right, let's just keep going straight then. Oh, there, okay, there it is again. This is insane. Well, there's an opening. New map location. Oh, I never actually looked at that map, by the way. Probably should. Still. Okay. We are up here. A lot of bamboo. How do I change map? Okay. This is where I just swam to. That's all I got. Where are we at? Hold on. Let's figure this out. Twenty six twenty five. 26, 25, right here. Hey, I need this plant. Need the plant. Okay. Oh, there's another platform right there. How do we get down there? Maybe this direction. Let's make some bandages real fast. Right, I'm assuming this is the direction to get down there. Ray, you're tired? This is not the time to be tired. I mean, it's not horrible, I guess. Okay. 1550. Yeah, not the best place. 26, 25. Right here. Let's, uh... Let's climb down, I guess. There's just so much. Like, a lot. All right, so there's a cave. Um, okay. Let's keep moving. Ooh, tobacco. We can actually use this as well. Oh, that's perfect. Make two of them. That's good for us, right? Yeah, I should probably... I should probably do that. I should probably... Get everything... Get everything ready. Here, we can probably build, like, a camp... Or, not campfire, but a fire... A small fire in here. Maybe. There it is. Okay. Let's build a small fire right there. And then let's build a... Nice... Little... Bed. Somewhere. 
Perfect. That's good for me. At the moment, doesn't even matter. As long as I can sleep and not get killed by a puma. Which, I can still get killed by a puma. I just want to throw that out there. Then in the 1 o'clock, we'll go start that fire. That meat is probably going to be spoiled. Perfect. And then let us... I can make ash. I just realized that. I have charcoal. Let's start cooking that snail. Uh, let's go look for... How much water do I have? Empty. And yeah, that's dirty water. Let's look for snails and water. Or snails, coconuts. Just uh, stuff that we can use. There's like bowls and stuff. There's some protein or fats right here. We'll eat those actually. Oh, I have actually a lot of... Alright, my fats are good. I'm not gonna find no coconuts just laying around here. Is there one up there? Doesn't look like it. Right, let's get rid of these leeches and eat this. One snail we have. Oh, protein's protein at this point. I'm not eating any of them. Insert. Oh, that's... These are carbohydrates. Ten protein, thirty-two fats. Yeah, we don't want to eat those. Don't want that. Don't eat that. This gives us carbs. Honestly, we just need food. We're in all those locations. Oh, there's more. Where are we at? I think we're out here. Yeah, I think we're out here. Uh, 26? No, 27, 31. We're gonna head there. Help is on the way. Come in. May I have to tell you something? Please, come in. Okay, that's fine. So, the camp did, there was that note in the camp that had my name on it, and that guy did spot a group of people, and I think they were talking about us as well. So, I wonder if, I wonder if he, on the maps that we're following, I wonder if we're going to find our camp in one of these, in one of these things. Like how he has those par, uh, points of interest marked down. Am I in the right direction? I think I am. Southwest. Yeah. Uh. Yes. Okay, there's like a big body of water, it looks like. Yep, so I should just be able to stick over to the side over here. This is swamp area, too. That means... That means one thing. Alligators. Big ass came. So we're gonna try not to get eaten. But if we do get attacked by a caiman, I got a handy dandy spear, and then that will get me some meat for us. Or for it's that we can eat, so So it's a win if we kill it, loss if we uh you know. Get torn to shreds. So we gotta... Yeah, we should probably not sprint or anything. And keep our ears open. We gotta be quiet. Because if... We should hear it walking around. If it's walking around. Hey, that's the big... That's the big thing. Hey, if it's... Oh, that, if it's walking... Am I still heading in the right direction? I 
think I am. There it is. Actually, let's use my arrow first. Okay. Yeah? Yeah? That scared me. Okay, let's, let's get it. That should give us, what, two or three? A lot of bone. Yeah, we can't carry all that bone. Let's draw... So we can make at least two bone axes now. Four. Four caiman meat. So now we got protein for days. Is this going in the right direction? I don't... Oh. Southwest of the wall. By the way, we didn't hear that. We didn't even hear that came in. We seen him, and we didn't hear him until we shot an arrow in his head. So we let's avoid going in any tall grass or anything. What is that? Looks like a structure, or it's a very nice rock. It's kind of hard, like. So it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, you're not gonna believe this. It's like a military thing. Why the cutscene? Ooh. What is this place? Oh! Fuck! Infected blood sample. Dr. Smith, report number 26. Observations on Kwasia Amara. A shrub from the Samarubaceae family compound inflorescence and small long oh, turtle. intensely red leaves distinctive characteristics its flower contains chemical compounds quasin among others which make this shrub one of the most bitter plants in the world the natives use it to make a brew for fevers and pain unfortunately aside from this usage i haven't found evidence of any other medicinal properties apart from its terrible taste the plant doesn't have any other distinguishable features of course, a sample along with full biochemical analysis will be included in the nearest transport. End of report. Do not touch. A01S12. So close. What the f- What are we- Hold on. What AOS S12? I don't know what that means. Oh, a letter. Dr. Higgins. Subject regarding complaints. Field Products Department. Philip Smith. Dr. Smith, we are aware of Dr. Higgins' difficult personality. But we'd like to remind you that it is impossible to continue the research without him. The goal of your mission is more important than any personal animosity. Please take into consideration that Dr. Higgins and his wife went through a lot and all the stress could have taken its toll on their nerves. We believe that you are able to ensure professional relations at the camp and guarantee that Dr. Higgins carries out his duties in a consensuous manner two samples in the last transport were broken you must therefore improve the procedure of their packaging each specimen is to be packed separately and secured from uncontrollable movement unsealing of container contamination or exposure to sunlight additional procedure aside from two samples packed as usual additional two are to be frozen and someone from your team is to check if the refrigerator is sealed and well fastened on board of the plane before it takes off 
we cannot allow any samples to go to waste. So, samples for what? They have to test us for something. Infected blood sample. So is this from us? Okay, so this goes here. No, I just need the right sample. Um. Dr. Smith, report number 27. Observations on Guanabana. A small tree in the Anonaceae family. Yellow and green heart-shaped flowers. Oval fruits, up to 12 inches long, weighing on average 2.2 pounds. Covered in dark green skin with soft prickles. White, creamy flesh with black seeds. Distinctive characteristics, very tasty. I've collected samples of fruits, leaves, and bark. As with many other species, the natives use the guanabana fruit to make anti-parasite brews. I must repeat some tests to be sure, but so far, the evidence for antiviral, antibacterial, and even antidepressant properties is... very promising. I'm not sure if I should get our hopes up, but some of the plant substances can even destroy cancer cells. I want to keep my professional cool, but for the first time, I feel that we are actually close to discovering what we're looking for. Out of all the potential samples studied so far, I recommend conducting a thorough analysis on Guanabana first. End of report. I have no clue what's happening, guys. I just want to point this out. Um, what do we... We have to put something in there, right? But the it so nothing's coming up in the thing. Hold on, what do we have to do here? We really need protein and we need water, but we don't have anything for either. Okay, let's head out. Let's get let's get some protein, some water, stuff like that. There is a turtle on there, so maybe we can find a turtle. I I don't know. Oh, and there's also another building right there. God, I'm thirsty. We didn't take our coconuts. I didn't know this was going to happen. To be honest. Alright, let's let's check this. Maybe we'll find, like, some OJ or something. Beef jerky? You can eat that. I'm actually going to eat that right now. Give us some proteins. Okay, um, got another map. I'm military rations laying around. Alright, let's eat the honeycombs. Dr. Smith, report number 23. Again, it's about Higgins. His behavior is starting to spiral out of control, and his obsession with his wife's health is disrupting the team's work. Once again, I want to make it clear that I don't have the professional knowledge to diagnose him, but I suspect a mental breakdown. It's getting worse with each day. Should I put him on medication? We have some sedatives on hand. Please advise. Oh, I almost forgot. I've packed all the specimens according to the new guidelines. I hope this time they will reach their destination without any problems. End of report. Is this a... Thirsty. Test? What what's happening right now? I am I am so confused. I'm I, I'm incredibly lost at the moment. We need to get water. I don't Um Is there some like see any turtles or something for their shells? Oh turtle. Awesome. That was luck. Sorry, turtle. I need... I need water. 
We got a map. We can check the map as well. Alright, let's do this so we can move faster. So, there's a something somewhere that has like a specimen. Also, those. Oh, hey, fruit. Eat those. Give us some carbs. Let's, uh... Disgusting. We're gonna get parasites. I, I know. That should fill us up, though. And these... Get rid of two parasites. So now we just need protein. Can I not? Alright, let's uh... Let's put this over by the table. There we go. So let's check the ma new notebook entry. Now I know where our tent is. They marked it on the map from the camp. How did they know about us? Did we work together? 28 west, 34 south. Map. Okay, what's this out here? 23... 33. Let's go check that. Let's go check that. 23, 33. Wait, am I going the right direction? 2333, I'm at 2534. So it should just be straight east, yeah. Let's head over there. Might as well since we're so close, right? Oh, another bowl of ayahuasca. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Let's get the fire ready. Now let's get ready for this. So now we just have to start the fire. Yeah, I don't know what this is going to show us. So. Oh, please don't go out. It's under the bowl. It's not going to go out. You going to go out? Nah, it's not going to go out. Alright. Hey, another, uh... Girlfriend just broke up with you. Stranded. Found out that people are watching you. Hallucinate. Bad laugh. Are you over there? Yeah? Oh, there you are. Nah, man, you're running through some uh, Cayman territory. Was that real? No, that wasn't real. Oh my god, all these dead birds just chilling. Oh my gosh. I don't like snakes. Oh, I don't like snakes. I don't like snakes at all. Like... I'm not like petrified of snakes, but man, those snakes are not okay. Especially those, as big as they were. So just. But oh, we're still, still you know going. What the worst part about this disease is? The doctors gave me six. Hey, vending machine. How am I supposed to live my life? When time is running out, how the fuck do I? I just can't. I can't do this anymore. I wake up next to you every day, knowing there's no future for us. I just can't take it. The pain. I want to end it and just be done. It feels like someone is holding my heart in an iron fist and I can't breathe. I just lie there and look at you. 
Medical history report, discharge summary, patient Nia Higgins, diagnosis, no cancerous changes found, underlying disease and complications, none. Treatment, conducted medical treatment procedure, CT scan of the chest, didn't show any tumors in the lungs. Lungs, trachea, and main bronchi normal. Blood test results unremarkable. Conducted surgical treatment procedures. Recommendations regarding further treatment. Patient has been discharged. Recommended checkup in two months. So the the drug is can cure her. There's a, there's a cure for her. She's gonna start talking. So it's, it's gonna get me. It's gonna jump. I'm gonna jump. Breakthrough in medical. Okay. Oh. The yeah. No, here, I'll go up, go down. Pause it if you want to read it. I'll also read it on my, I'm going to read it on my own time as well. While I edit. I can't blame you for the decisions you made. You chose me, okay. not knowing the cost. Would you do it again? Or was the price of healing me too high? Hey, Mia. You're in my book? You are. Looks like, right? Can you see the book? Can you see the book? It's not my, it doesn't look like my book. Wow, no support. What? What price? What did we... What did I do? Tell me, please. Oh. Okay. Unknown virus detected in Brazil. Unknown virus detected in Brazil. It's been a week since Brazilian hospitals shared information about new occurrences of an unidentified virus. To date, a dozen cases have been reported for safety reasons. The patients are isolated. Most of them have slipped into a coma and the doctors describe their condition as serious. Tests are being conducted to identify the virus and its mutations. Currently, the patients are provided with symptomatic treatment whose aim is to increase their comfort. Authorities urge citizens who show suspicious symptoms or have been in contact with an infected person to get checked in the nearest hospital. One of the first symptoms of the infection are high fever and pale blue subdermal lesions. Ooh. The authorities also assure the public that the situation is under control and there's no risk of an outbreak. Or infected with new virus in Brazil, the situation in Brazilian hospitals is becoming worse. Over several dozens, dozen people died in connection with the unidentified virus, and the number of diagnosed infections is on the rise. The hospitals are struggling to accommodate the incoming flood of patients. Initially, the sick were kept in isolation, but no hospital has a sufficient number of isolation wards for all the inf affected. Entire wards and even wings of hospitals are being turned into quarantine zones. Unfortunately, the efforts of the medical personnel may not be enough to prevent an outbreak. People in the advanced stage of the illness are found at homes, in the streets, and in public spaces, thus spreading the virus even further. The worst scenario in play is playing out in the poorest districts and favelas. Poor situation, or I'm sorry, poor sanitation and access to health care paired with the 
distrustful attitude of the citizens toward the authorities make it even more difficult to contain the virus in these areas. The Minister of Health assures that the public and several research teams are currently working independently to identify the virus. At the same time, a special investigative task force has been formed to determine the source of the cause of the outbreak. The President of Brazil claims that the situation is under control, but is asking the citizens to fo follow strict safety measures and avoid public places if possible. Several big events were canceled for safety reasons in kindergartens and schools see a decline in attendance. Despite the reassuring tone of the authorities, Brazil is now on a brink of chaos. Hmm. Oh my gosh. I'm reading these because these are like showing right, like they're right in front of me. It's all I can do. They're just getting longer. Outbreak of a known unknown disease spiraling out of control not long ago brazil aspired to become the world's greatest superpower but now it is found itself on the brink of total collapse a mysterious disease has already cost brazil the lives of 20 million people the country is running out of medical supplies and the government has lost control of the country if the outbreak spreads beyond the borders and the crisis may consume the entire continent Due to the tragic situation in Brazil, the neighboring countries have introduced procedures that are meant to protect their citizens from becoming infected. Additional forces have been deployed to control the borders, and official crossings have been closed. Runaways who are trying to escape Brazil illegally are apprehended and sent back. The rest of the world has also introduced restrictions. Most airports have suspended suspended flights to and from brazil at a special conference organized by the wha representatives from all around the world are debating how to stop the unidentified virus from spreading any further one of the first propositions is to fortify the safety measures at the isthmus of panama i hope i pronounced that right from a geologic geographical perspective it is most convenient place to stop the outbreak because the epidemic has already reached colombia other propositions included building barbed wire entanglements fences or even a wall reaching from coast to coast engaging ma major military forces is being considered it's easy to notice the helplessness of the wha in the face of a cr of the crisis all the solutions discussed so far are mostly aimed at protecting the countries that haven't been affected by the disease. No one has proposed a method of efficient treatment of the virus or containment of the chaos-ridden area. The first day of the conference has led to disappointing conclusions and the world still cannot feel safe. They all oh my gosh. This was the only solution. Shutting down airports, seaports, and now this? They are isolating the entire continent. Okay. So they're here looking for a cure then? happening am i still like hallucinating did i just get shot in the chest um this doesn't look like a hallucination anymore no it does okay Looks like a lot of construction has been done here. Oh, that's a mass grave. Oh, that's a mass grave. Jake Higgins. Murder. His discoveries were meant to save the world. And instead, they led to deaths of 150 million people.
You think... You think I was worth it? Oh my god. So, looking for a cure for her, we basically get the cure, send it out, and then find out that it's not good. Okay. Uh, what's in here? Hey, ooh, a grapple gun. Uh, oh, we got a grapple gun. Doesn't look like you're gonna need this. Oh, here's that guy. So, um, where are we at? I'm assuming, assuming right here. Yeah. Alright, let's head back to the camp. We're back at the camp. Insert test sample. I mean, I don't, if that's the cure, to find the cure, I don't want to do it. I mean, honestly, if I was in, if I was in Mia's situation... And, I mean, he just seen it. He just seen it. If he finds a cure, then basically all that's going to happen. And that's most definitely not worth it. I don't care who you are, what you are. To do something like that would be nothing but being selfish. I think, I think we got pretty far. We got a lot new area, a lot of new areas. We discovered a lot of stuff on the map. One of these are our, will be our house, or not house, one of these will be our tent. So we're going to have to do that in the next video. So that means we're going to end this video here. If you like the video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe. Don't forget to check out the links down in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitch channel. I stream every Saturday at 12 p.m. EST. Also, we, I am going to start trying to stream here and there throughout the week as well on random days. So don't forget to keep an eye open for that. But thank you guys. I love you. And I'll catch you guys all in the next video.